ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful tool. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect ChatGPT to Monday.com so they work in conjunction with one another. So you can save yourself time, increase the profitability of your business and do a, a series of other things. So I'm going to firstly show you how to connect everything up and then two, give you some ideas on how the two systems can work together. By the way, if you would like us to help you set up Monday.com for your business or anything like this, check out the link below. We would love to help. As you can see here, I'm inside of our example monday.com system. Now this is just a basic project management setup. Doesn't need to be exciting just for the sake of this video. We are gonna need a few things, however. First and foremost, you're gonna need a ChatGPT account, which is actually a product of OpenAI, and I'll come on to what that means in a moment. But OpenAI is the business, ChatGPT is the product. You will have an OpenAI account. Secondly, you're gonna need a Zapier account. You may be using Make or another system. I use Zapier. Um, you can connect Monday to ChatGPT with Make, but I'm walking you through Zapier today. So you will need a Zapier account. You can get a 14 day free trial. Um, and then obviously you're gonna need, need a monday.com account as well. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is head over to OpenAI. So I've got a separate tab open up here. This is OpenAI, literally openai.com. It's very simple. And then what you want to do is go ahead and log in in the top right hand corner. And what you want to do is log into your API platform. You're not logging into ChatGPT, you're logging into your API platform. This allows you to connect ChatGPT to Zapier. Zapier acts as a middleware between ChatGPT and Monday.com, so it allows data to be flowing in both directions. Now, it may look slightly more overwhelming. Do not panic at all. We're going to keep this <laughs> super simple. All you want to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner here, go to settings. And then the first thing you will want to do is go to your billing. You're going to need to give yourself a credit balance. So you need to pay in some money. So what happens is every time the integration runs, ChatGP charges you a tiny, tiny, tiny amount, amount of money. It's minuscule. It's cents of point cents i suspect per integration um we use this all the time we don't get charged a lot of money I, there's a tiny balance of 55 dollars on here um just add a balance of five dollars i think that's probably the minimum you can do just press add credit balance whatever ten dollars twenty dollars i'll do it for the sake of this video press continue and then i will just confirm payment and that's it you add some balance to your uh, chat gbt account and then obviously they can go then you can begin with the integration this is taking a moment to load there we go so hopefully if i hit refresh now there's another 20 dollars in this account <laughs> right so so that's step one step two is you then need to go ahead and create an api key now i suspect some of this will be blurred we do have active api keys but an api key is like a secret code that allows you to connect ChatGPT to Zapier, okay? So go ahead and press create a new secret key. You can give it whatever you na name you want it to. So I'm just gonna call this example. Then on the project, I suspect if you're just being introduced to this, you're not gonna be managing projects within the AI function of OpenAI. Uh, within the AI function of, yeah, whatever. <laughs> within the API function of OpenAI. So, just select the default project. All that says select the default project. And then with permissions, just leave it as all for the time being. And then just press create secret key. Okay, that's going to give you a very long code that you want to go ahead and copy and just store somewhere. Or just leave this tab open for a moment. But I would suggest just copy and paste it into your notes if you're doing this while you're watching this video. So now we've got your secret key, which is really important. We then need to go ahead and move over to Zapier, okay? So if you have not used Zapier before, you need to go ahead and log in. So I'm just gonna just create an account, just create an account, just create an account. I'd recommend the professional version of Zapier. Um, 2000 tasks, you can start with 750. You can get a 14 day free trial, I'm pretty sure. And then once you've logged into the system, you'll be presented with this screen here. The first thing that we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is create a new Zap, okay? so start from scratch right at the top on the home screen just press zap um and we can get a little bit more fancy with folders and things within zapier or you can as you get more accustomed to the platform now what we're going to want to do is trigger an action so i'm going to walk you through both ways or kind of multiple step process here but we have a trigger so let's just assume something happens within monday.com and then we want data to go into chat GPT and then we want it to go back into monday.com, okay? So this instance, 
we need to create a trigger. Trigger is going to happen inside of monday.com. So we need to go ahead and connect the app, which is monday.com to Zapier as well. So in order to do that, we need to select an account. Now we have our account already connected, but I suspect if you're doing this for the first time, you will not. In order to connect your monday.com account to Zapier, you will need your API key for your monday.com account. That's another API key. So in order to get that, we'll head over to monday.com. We'll go to our initials in the top right hand corner here. And then if this is going to work, there we go. We're going to go to administration and then from here, go to connections. And I don't know what is going on here. Uh, we just want to go to connections and then personal API token. And then you can go ahead and copy and paste your API token. This is your API token, which will allow us to connect your monday.com account to Zapier. <laughs> so much to go through. So you select account, create, connect a new account. You're going to be presented with a pop-up screen. It's going to ask you to type in your API token that you've literally just copied from monday.com and pasted in there and then congratulations your monday.com account is now connected to chat gpt not, not chat gpt it's now connected to zapier which means we can pull information in from monday.com to zapier so that's step one so what i'm going to do is let's say new item in board as our trigger event so when a new item is created in a board in monday.com and then what we're going to do here is select our board so in this instance it's going to be our projects board then i'm going to go ahead and press continue just test the trigger here to see what data we are getting through just to make sure we're getting the data that we want you can see here we've got active projects event status the name of the item is nick boardman so let's just go back go out of here we don't want to go here we just want to go to our home screen Go to our projects and you can see we've got a Nick Boardman active project. This was an example we were doing for another video. So you can see that the data is now being pulled through, which is fantastic. OK, so now the next step of the process, add an action. So this is where ChatGPT gets involved. So you want to search ChatGPT and then obviously in brackets, OpenAI. That's the company that owns it. Same principle applies with connecting your account. You will not have an account associated with Zapier yet or you will not have associated your OpenAI account with Zapier yet. So just go ahead and press plus connect a new account. You're going to be again presented with this screen here. All you need to do is put the API key in. So just copy and paste it from the API key area that you had earlier that you copied and pasted it from, and then just paste it here. And just, you don't need to worry about the organization ID. Just press yes, continue to chat GPT. And then it will automatically associate your OpenAI account with Zapier, which is what we want to do. Mine is already connected and you can see I've got ChatGPT available here for me to select. So now, I mean, big congratulations. That was a lot. I hope my explanation was all right, but you've now connected monday.com to Zapier, connected OpenAI or ChatGPT to Zapier. Now we can have these two systems talking to one another, which is very, very helpful because when a new item is created in our projects board, I can then push data over to ChatGPT. I can create an action event and you can see we're going to have loads of different options here. So we can analyze an image, we can analyze text, we can analyze text sentiment. You can see legacy is older functions and then we've got some newer ones as well. We've got conversations, conversation with assistant, convert text to speech, create assistant, create transcription, translation. Um, there's loads of options here. Now, the basic stuff, what we really we want to be doing here um, and obviously you can get more complicated with this as you want but i would just do a conversation okay so to start with and the only thing i'm really going to be covering in this video is a conversation okay so an action event is a conversation that's exactly what you probably do on a day-to-day -day basis you converse with chat gpt now the only difference is monday.com is conversing with chat gpt as opposed to you having to write something in so what we can do and this is what where it gets really interesting is we can say please review and i'm kind of just making this up this information and score it out of 10 based on these parameters as an example so parameters there we go 
parameters there. Cool. So then you can go get go ahead and give ChatGPT some parameters that you want to score something with. So as a fantastic example, let's say you're scoring leads. A new lead comes into your monday.com system with a load of different data points. You then want to put it into chat GPT and say, score it based on this information and this criteria. It then gives a score and then we can post that information back over to monday.com with an accurate lead score and some text about that particular lead for your sales team to follow up on. So let's imagine that that new item in the board was a lead. What we can do is press the plus button up here and we can pull in all of the information from the item in that board into a conversation that we're having with ChatGPT. So I can say, let's say the name. So this is lead name. And then you could have lead phone number and you would have the, the whatever data points you have on your projects board, you would then map to your lead phone number, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so lead phone and then lead email i don't know <laughs> kind of making it up and then you'd have that and so on so forth so on so forth so now you can map data points from monday.com into chat gpt and you can ask say please review this information and score it out of 10 based on these parameters you can give it the parameters saying um if they are based in the uk they are a that scores them a two if they do this and that scores them a four if they have that then they scores them blah 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 if the lead source is referral score them higher than if it's a facebook lead ad as an example hopefully you get the idea this is just an example but you then can prompt with the conversation and then take the data points from whatever's triggered this into your conversation and then i mean i can run this so i can literally test this it's not going to come back with any information because not much helpful but the output text as you can see here which is obviously what we want is certainly please please provide the information you'd like me to review and clarify the parameters you want me to use for scoring so that's probably what it would come back to you as if you were just having a conversation a conversation with ai if you if you were messaging back and forth with ai so then what i can then do is go right monday.com again and i want to update the item that has caused this trigger so update item and you, that's the action event and then press continue then the board id is also going to be projects then the item id is going to be a custom value and that's going to be the what's triggered the previous step so that new item in board is the item id that we want to update so whatever's triggered and then we can map the information that we have from the conversation back over to our monday.com I um on monday.com record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a long text on here. Not that that's not what I wanted to do. Long text. There we go. And then I just put like pro, let's just say project or lead description, just be in keeping with what uh, the what I'm trying to communicate here. And I'm hoping this is making sense. <laughs> i'll know if this video made sense when i'm editing it so um if you're not watching this then you'll know that it went horribly wrong um so what i can do is just press the refresh button at the top right hand corner here and hopefully that new lead description column will populate and then the output which is the conversation reply so we can see here if we just scroll down and i'm looking for i can't see it for whatever reason um what did he say certainly output text that's what we're looking for so now that's going to map back over to if i press test step map back over to our project and you can see here certainly please provide the information so what's essentially happened is a new item has been created on the projects board we've then put the data from the project into chat gpt and then chat gpt is giving us an answer and then we've posted that information back over to monday.com this is infinitely scalable there are a million and one things that you can do here you could also have let's say a type form comes in and then it goes through chat gpt and then it goes into monday.com and is a new lead you could do it either which way this is infinitely scalable admittedly more complicated but gives you immense power by allowing chat gpt to be integrated with your monday.com account so you can score leads faster you can track deals better you can automate things automate emails to be sent like if you want automated custom follow-up you can you can get really 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 sophisticated with this both on the sales side the project management side and often a lot of other stuff like case management within monday.com using chat gpt to analyze the case provide a summary of the case issue add that to 
the case record within monday.com also scored the severity of the case dependent on the answers that they gave and also the client if the client's an important client or a less important client not say that there are less important or more important clients but you get the idea that's how to do it hopefully this has given you some idea at least how to get everything connected and then you can mess around with this as much as you want if you would like us to help you with something like this we would love to help check out the link below uh, book a call and we can have a conversation if you've got some questions in the comment section please 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 ask them if the question's good and there's a lot of detail to the question then i will make a video answering it also if there's more case specific things you want to see nick how do i use chat gpt to better manage xyz within monday.com that would be fantastic i will happily gladly make a video on that um hopefully this video has been helpful Thank you ever so much for watching. Like I said, if you would like us to help you with any of this, setting up monday.com, integrating with ChatGPT, other AI functions, check out the link below. Uh, book a call. We would love to help. Um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. But this is the basics. Hopefully this has got you at least somewhere and we can speak soon. Thank you. Goodbye.